morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another day. Um, don't know what my voice is doing <clears throat> or is doing. I don't know. <laughs> I have coffee today. Um, it's been in my system for a hot minute. Um, just started drinking and oh boy, did I make this pop coffee pot strong. <laughs> Dang. Um, can barely even taste my creamer, even though I put like five little pots in there and sativa, and it just whoa, it just still tastes like coffee slapped me in the face. <laughs> but uh, today's um, shenanigans that's gonna happen it's my mom and sister's birthday today, and yes, they are both born on the same day, just not like obviously years apart because. A baby can't have a baby <laughs> um, but yeah they are born on the same day so it's very special um, so this morning you'll you'll see but um, we opened presents because surprise surprise they saw presents and they wanted to open them <laughs> uh, which I don't blame them um, and then uh, yeah um, so my plans today are to get ready because I'm not looking as bad as the other videos, but uh, you can totally tell I have bed head still. Um, and then we don't really have much planned. Um, I'm going to finish making um, the pie that I was making yesterday, so all I have to do since there's a little extra room, I'm going to put like whipped cream on there with like and top it off with like cinnamon. Um, and then I'm going to start on their birthday dinner. <laughs> um, and then once my body wakes up, I'm going to also clean the kitchen and the bathroom because both of them are very disastrous and I didn't do the bathroom yesterday and I should have. Um, but <clears throat> That's okay. That's my plans for today. I'm gonna finish my coffee, get ready for the day, um, do some reading today, clean, clean, <laughs> um, and yeah. Let's start hanging over your presents. I would like to see what you got. <laughs> How can I feel the joy? Being with you, how can I chase the pain? It's like, away? I didn't want a so front good. row seat of Castillo putting her presence. Bliss is <laughs> calling me, holy snow, too. I bring some mistletoe with me. Christmas is waiting for you. It'll never start without you, never start without you Christmas is all about you I see everywhere around the fairies of December You I see everywhere around the fairies of December You Santa baby I really do believe in you Christmas is waiting for you It'll never start without you Never start without you Christmas is all about you I see everywhere around the Fairies of December You I see everywhere around the Fairies of December I'm back 
the presents and the lights in the trees The smell of chestnut boiling under heat And I remember dreaming buried in a comfy blanket That I will never forget When I was waiting for the snow to fall to make a giant snowman My heart was jingling over and over I won't forget the snowman, I won't forget those years An amazing time, I love This will forever be the one deserved When we're affronted Can we turn the other cheek For Christmas I just want a little peace And if the fates should bless us With a moment of reprieve We all could stand together In the silence and just breathe Rejoice for all the happiness Mourn for all that's all that I am asking for This lonely Christmas Eve Shine on one another The light that we have saved So jealously we've guarded For the coming rainy days If only for a moment We can make the darkness cease For Christmas I just want a little peace For Christmas I just want a little peace
like this thing that I found on Pinterest and this 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> it's like slow cooker chicken rice soup, I guess. <laughs> so what you'll need is a crock pot, which I have right here. Let me show you. Crock pot. And then, let's see. Um, then you're going to want um, cream of chicken soup. I do a can. Depends on how much like you're going to make. Usually I'll do one can or two cans of each. Um, one can is sufficient. Um, corn, canned corn. Uh, canned diced tomatoes with green chili. Um, canned black beans. And then diced uh, onion, which I'm not about to cut up an onion again. I tried that the first time and oh, it's crying the whole time. <laughs> and then some chicken, which, you know, I got the tenderloins because they're a little, a little cheaper. But yeah, so what you're going to do, oh yeah, and some milk too. And then oh, I just use the almond milk because um, it's not as hurtful on my tummy. Um, but anyways, what you're going to want to do is put in the chicken first. Obviously, you're going to want to unfreeze it. Um, I've let it sit in my fridge for a couple days. Um, then I'm just going to take it out of my hand, put it... Yeah, this is gross. I do not like this. Um, put it in there. And then obviously after I'm done, I'm going to wash my hands because um, I don't want salmonella poisoning. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you layer it onto the bottom of your crock pot, and then after that, you'll just want to put in all your ingredients. Doesn't really matter. With the milk, you'll probably want like a cup or so, um, depending, you know. Um, I'm just gonna add this whole thing of onions. Actually, oh. half of it because I don't like onions that much <laughs> um, okay Ooh, those smell okay then the cream of mushroom or cream of chicken uh, now I'm opening the black beans what I like to do is I don't really like it very soupy <laughs> so I just dump out the the at least the beans and the corn their moisture <laughs> Corn. I also forgot an ingredient too, so um, I'm gonna get that after. Um, it's just taco seasoning. Uh, yeah, you just add it in there and call it good. So, and I probably ate this like three or so times. It's like I made it three or so times. Eat it like for a good while <laughs> and. Highly recommend, it's delicious, um, obviously, but yeah, I've been trying to make more healthier choices, um, eating-wise, so this is pretty good. <laughs> um, by healthy, I mean eating out less, like getting DoorDash a lot less, <laughs> so yeah, and then I'm just gonna eye it with the milk, so, um, I'll make sure it's not expired or smelling bad. I think that's a good, a good amount. Um, and then taco seasoning. Um, and you can season it however you want to. I just add taco seasoning, a little bit of garlic. I should get that. Got some scissors. Okay, taco seasoning is going in there. Just the whole packet. Um, and then um, I got some. I'm trying to use up this. It's the Buffalo Ranch. I'm just going to add a little bit of it. There we go. Okay. And then some garlic. Uh, let's see. And then I think that's about it. I got some cilantro too, but I don't think I'm going to add that. So after that, um, I just like to mix it up a little bit. So uh, while it cooks, so I'm just going to mix it. Like it in there. Um, and then 
you let it uh, cook on, since it has chicken in it, I let it cook on high for like five hours. And then afterwards, um, what you're gonna want to do is, um, after it's cooked, take out the chicken, shred it up, put it back in there, cook up some rice actually, and um, put it in there, mix it all together, and then you're done. So it's pretty easy, just a lot of ingredients. Um, let's see, yeah, but yeah, hopefully you guys like this uh, food as much as I do, and um, I'll show you the finished product too, but. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i know cassie was saying like she's like yeah you uh or Lori sometimes stop <laughs> So, yeah, I had quite a bit to eat. Whoa, that steam. <laughs> um, yeah, I had quite a bit to eat. And honestly, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> but I'm still going to have this for food in case everybody else is hungry. Honestly, sorry about the steam. My crock pot is right underneath you. <laughs> Um, honestly, I'm more hungry for, like, I'm more wanting, um, my eggnog pie rather than actual food, um, because I'm not that hungry right now, and it's, like, almost six tonight, and I don't think I'm gonna be hungry, um, for anything sufficient, you know, this tonight, so, um, yeah, but I really want to try my uh, eggnog pie. I'll try it on camera for you to see, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to finish up cooking this, and I'll probably have it tomorrow. Right. As promised, this is the first official taste test of the eggnog pie. Okay, <laughs> I'm excited. Delicious. Tastes like definitely eggnog, but it's like not as like slap in your face eggnog taste, you know, if that makes sense. But it's, it's so good. <laughs> mm. Out of 10 probably rate this like um probably an eight out of ten it's delicious outdone yourself found this um recipe i believe on um instagram so yeah <laughs>